much for speaking to me, gentlemen, and the lady who's actually Siam is one person who has not been on a pause this lockdown. This is, I think, my third or fourth meeting with her because she's coming up with one stuff after the other, right, Siami? I know it's been a pleasure talking to you. I hope uh, this continues next year as well. So. I know, and I hope we meet in person. And now, both of you actors, tell me: Did you approach the two of them to be casted, or did they come to you? Because I have been in touch with Raj for the past two years to cast me. I got until now opportunity not mila. Yeah, I sent them a text. I I was like, you know, I don't know when the lockdown is going to open. Like, do you guys have anything? They said, yeah, we're working on this thing, but uh, you know, we'll let you know. And then uh, I got a like a, a text message from them saying that be slack, lagya. So I'm like, all my savings, yeah. I had to break like five FDs and all. <laughs> my God, to get cast, my lord. Yeah. That too in a I short, guess. short like a shortish, like not even a feature. At least he didn't pick the yeah. other other option. So anyway. Yeah. So feature length ka rate uh, they're not telling me only. They're very good business people. They don't give you the entire rate card. So need to basis pe apna rate decide karke karte hain. I was desperate. What to do? My career is going nowhere. So I said, okay, fine. So I gave like twenty lakhs. This is what it takes to make it in this industry. If like people like him think talent. Truth is out now. This is going to be the new headline. पैसे देने पड़ते हैं to be cast. I am यहाँ बताओ अब. इना तो इतना dramatic नहीं था. मैं गुलशन की life बहुत dramatic है. I was uh, uh, like you know really wanting to work with these guys and then you know things fell into place. It was a little last minute, but uh, got the opportunity to work with them. So I. Was delighted. Wow. Oh. Okay. The, the, the producers and director, please tell me how much will it take for me to get casted in one of your shows now? <laughs> it is not anything at all. You just we'll the, the cast you for free. Requirement. Yeah. 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 You do free. The basic requirement free. for us seems to be that uh, super talented guys like these two. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So I need to up my talent game because my actors. No, I don't know. I'm sure you are. You are. You are more. More talented than them. But I just. Yeah, I just yes. haven't seen your work. I'm not a fan. Yeah, somebody is lying among the four of us. Somebody is lying. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about it. How did Glitch come about? You shot in the pandemic, and I like the premise of the story. I actually like the opening line. प्यार करने में कितना टाइम लगता है जितना एक वायरस को अटैक करने में बॉडी को. So that was quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a yeah very unique story I, I should say that uh, you know when uh, Aparna from Amazon called us and was putting together this idea of uh, say yeah. of five different filmmakers making five different uh, films as part of an anthology, uh, the first thing she said was obviously we're going to be shooting in the times of pandemic and most likely people will be watching when the pandemic is still on, but uh, let it be I mean you know, the idea was that it should be about hope. or something you know something happier rather than just how drab life is during the pandemic that was the only uh, requirement only brief to all the filmmakers yeah. so we were thinking of what stories to make how to make and we didn't want to see by then i think uh, most of the films about you know two people stuck at home or a couple stuck at home or all these stories were already being made so we wanted to see what else we could do if we could uh, do something a little different a little uh distinct from all of these and uh you know our writing on this one uh, reshu nath is the writer so we were discuss discussing a few ideas with her and then she came up with the uh concept seed concept idea for this one and uh, I, we we loved it right away because it once you see the film you realize it kind of stands out from the rest of the yeah. pandemic stories i hope in a good way Yeah. And especially, what would life be twelve years after if we still don't get a vaccine? We just can kind of get used. Oh, so you've seen, you've seen the film. <laughs> okay, that was my. I should have. That should be my first question. Have you seen, seen the, the film? film? Yeah, looks like a little bit. Like, uh, I mean, little bit. Oh, They just okay. sent me little teasers. I haven't seen the complete one. I was just teased oh, with okay, okay. what uh, comes uh, lies ahead. So, why Gulshan right. and Sam? I mean, coming to you. The hypochondriac man, Gulshan. Why last conversation I spoke to you, you were like you're so paranoid about. you know everything around you so was it like easy to slip into this character's uh, shoes or was it that actually you playing you i was already in preparation for this when i was talking to you <laughs> so it's very relatable yes i am very careful yeah. with things and particularly uh, the first 3 uh, 4 months uh, actually 5 6 months of the of the pandemic i was like super careful i wouldn't go out unless it was necessary i'm generally quite 
like you know cautious and careful and a lot of my friends and family make like a, a lot of fun of me for that <laughs> but uh, you know i say better careful than sorry uh, so yeah so i think life i've been preparing to play this role like my entire life <laughs> but i am not a hypochondriac at least that's what every <laughs> hypochondriac would probably say but yeah seriously I, i don't think i'm a hypochondriac but it's definitely relatable a lot of the uh, situations that i find myself while i was in all the scenarios that was given to me uh, uh, through the script uh, is very relatable not only to me i think a lot of people will be able to relate to uh, both the characters and all the situations that the both of us encounter so that made it exciting also and uh, Yeah, it was interesting because it had like a it, there is a certain sense of humor about things also, which is very unique to Raj and DK. They have a very quirky sense of humor, which we all like, and I get it. Sure. So it was like, uh, and you kind of look at all those scenarios through that lens also as to how Raj and DK would uh, look at it. And um, yeah, it's just like I think it all fell in place really quickly. Also, it wasn't very difficult to understand, and it was a whole lot of fun. just to even read the script was a whole lot of fun and so i mean you i mean as i said i've been like talking to you it start uh, started with special locks and yet choke mm-hmm. now we have this so what was this like and what was it like playing you know starting opposite mr hypochondriac as he sings so so for me we've chatted so much so you i've complained about how my father was a hypochondriac through the lockdown to you so i was living with that kind of a character for 8 months so for me actually to play the character that i'm playing was actually a relief because i'm uh, quite opposite to what gulshan's character is i mean when you all see the film you all will see more uh, but just uh, you know there is again uh, people who haven't watched the film there's something that i picked up for the film um, which i can't really talk about right now but as an actor it was something very very exciting to do and it was something that i've really wanted to like this particular character i wanted to play you know for the last uh, year two years is something which i wanted to do so it ke i mean when it came up uh, i was extremely excited on usual circumstances i would have like to prep like for a long time for it but uh, i hope we've managed to pull it off and um, i just had you know correct guidance from rajan dk so you know when you're in safe hands you completely surrender and then there was gulshan who was such a delight to work with Uh, so i hope that people you know like what we put together and rajan dk i want to ask you because you know it's, it's so, look at gulshan's getting so excited actually to all of you when the pandemic started and we were experiencing what we have globally i used to ask people are our narratives going to reflect that and i already see this happening because we cannot pause on this moment but what was it like shooting it and going forward what what can we expect from filmmakers and from the artists fraternity which has actually kept us entertained if it wasn't for you all we would have all gone a little crazy so yeah uh, it's, it's not a it's not a small uh, it's not a small happening it's a life event that we all experience so it is definitely going to impact everything we do going forward especially as storytellers filmmakers some stories might be uh, might not be connected like in the way you set it some stories might just still be fine but uh, going forward we write a lot so we uh, we develop a lot of ideas and stories so we had to reevaluate them quite a bit during the pandemic especially in the lockdown to to even see if they are relevant anymore so you know or what would make them relevant or you know what 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 should we do so we as filmmakers we are going to be very cognizant about it and that's what you know it's not a small thing to you know say that okay everybody is going to wear masks in the movies from now on so you know yeah. so it's really reevaluating and also more than just acknowledging what we went through it's also pri- prioritizing things that are important as filmmakers on the themes that you want to talk about the themes that became that prioritized themselves automatically during this reevaluation period so yeah uh, i think the re- next, next set of films a little maybe not the next 6 months a year later when the new films start coming out i think we will see a lot of reflections in those and uh, i mean there are a lot of uh, speaking about that how it affects the future of everybody how films are made is uh, there are there are there is a funny meme going around in all these uh, filmmaker circles right where people are just walking and talking and hugging and all that and the question is so is the story set before the pandemic 
or is it set in a parallel universe where the pandemic never <clears throat> happened so these are going to be questions that you're going to be asking if, when you see movies in 2021 where people are still being normal because these are probably scripts written in 2020 2019 or films that were supposed to be made then so you're still not going to be seeing people talking about oh there was a pandemic or there is a pandemic hopefully not there was a pandemic because of a vaccine coming out and hopefully we'll all be doing well soon but I think you're going to be asking that question in 2021 March when you see a film you'll be asking a question when is this set and you'll have to I think take that little leap of faith you know sure. Sure. what about you uh, both actors what was it like shooting and I mean there just might be narratives with characters wearing masks if we you know things don't go well I hope not because <laughs> no fingers crossed Yes, I hope we get back to normalcy. This particular film that we've done, Unpaused, uh, the, our characters at some point are wearing masks. And, you know, I watched, I was watching the series called This Is Us on Hot, uh, which, you know, the, the characters in that series are wearing masks. True, and like, true, you know, true. I said, oh, no, this just seems really weird. Like, I, this is not, this is not the cinema I want to watch. You know, I don't want to see people masked up. I just want it to be normal. Um, but I guess we wait and watch and like, uh, you know, DK was saying, it's going to be very interesting to see the films that come out in 21, you know, are they going to be with people in masks all through or like, how is it going to be? So it's going to be interesting to watch. As far as our shooting uh, glitch, you know, we, all the precautions were taken and we were, I was actually very paranoid because it was my first shoot uh, in, in the pandemic. So for, I was very paranoid, but uh, all went well and everything was safe. So I guess with measures taken, we all uh, managed managed shooting. Yeah, I looked at uh, this whole conversation as a business opportunity. Actually, a few days back, I've already uh, submitted my application with uh, UNESCO uh, in order to write AD and BC are going to be cancelled now. So it's going to be PP and POP, pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. So I'm just waiting for their approvals. Very soon you will get a WhatsApp message from them. Everybody, once my approval gets... Except started. they'll come back and say PP for both, man. <laughs> no, no, that's right, that's right. I've already registered it. So, so whenever you write, you'll write PP pre-pandemic or PP Yeah, PP, PP and POP. PP and POP. I'm waiting for those clearances from <laughs> UNESCO. Like Apparently the, UNESCO is the, be like the overriding authority on like many things. So, <laughs> yeah. And they're also like... Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll be getting those WhatsApp forwards very soon. I'm looking forward to <laughs> it. I mean, amazing. Yeah, and uh, in our yes. script, no, in our script, there huh. was a line. Remember, Gulshan, in our script, there was a line where uh, uh, the line says uh, in BC, uh, and I was a, I was a software software engineer BC before COVID, and yeah. uh, for the <clears> longest time, his uh, his when he was uh, you know doing the readings, he kept he kept reading BC as BC. Like the, you know, the Gali. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, oh <laughs> my like, God. Before, he kept saying the, the BC word and I'm like, no, 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 that's not meant to be the BC Gali. That's meant to be the before COVID. <laughs> Why didn't you even tell me? I had no clue. I just realized this. Wow. Wow. We can see the light bulbs going on. Yeah, now but you see what kind of com effective communication we all had. Huh? Awesome. But honestly, how did you manage him? The three of you, I want to ask you all. How did you manage him? Because with him, he's you never know whether he's, he's joking or not. On the most easy. No, no, he's just being like this uh, for you, Pooja. He wasn't like this at all on the set. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing is true. You know, you know, inmates, when they're in jail for like 10 years and they are just calm and quiet and the moment they're released, it's like they've never seen sunlight ever in their life. Uh, so Gulshan was like that on the set. <laughs> During he was COVID. locked up for nine months or something. And the moment he was on set, he was very cautious, <laughs> careful. Two hours into the set, he's like, oh my God, I'm free. He was like, <laughs> he was socializing with everybody. And <laughs> hmm, I just hope that applies for all of us very soon. But it's called glitch, which is that one moment, glitch moment you've had in your life, the four of you, that you actually thought was, this is a glitch. There are lots of glitches. Right? Mm. <laughs> like, it's, no, it's, man, this whole pandemic. I can't stop counting. Yeah, like I think the I pandemic think itself was a glitch. Woken up. Yeah. Was never really, nobody had planned for this. I don't know if God had planned for it, but yeah. the system was running fine, and then there's sudden glitch. Astrologers nobody... are out of business now, as you know, na. Yeah. yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody like They're me. Still trying no, to... there's a new, there's a new, new, but there's a new opportunity for astrologers by predicting when it'll be over. They started predicting September back in June. 
now they pushed it to jan let us see how far they'll yeah, push it but see. yeah <laughs> somebody like story. me somebody like me coming here to this town and like making it as an actor itself is a glitch it's not supposed to happen but you know sometimes these things happen i'm happy about it but i can't believe it it seems like it's a glitch wow tell me what about you i just feel all of us living this pandemic like they said is a glitch you know like there are days when i wake up and i say is this really happening because i still i mean everything just feels so surreal still even after 8 months so i feel that this definitely is the biggest glitch for everyone on the planet right now but sami yeah. i must say as i said it's been a very good pandemic for you we've all struggled but for you i have seen so much work in these last 8 months no i'm professionally very happy that the work that i did 2 years ago came out so i have no complaints on the professional front but you know just the small like true, joy, true, you true. know celebrating with your team or you know doing this with the team together uh, even though you need to wear full clothes when you meet them and you can't be in like shorts and do it on zoom but still like you know there's something that i've missed so i'm not complaining with my releases but uh, i've just missed people a lot yeah i think i think the headline for this interview should be how the pandemic has been good for jeff bezos and all the other billionaires of the world and siamika <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> no but it's been great for you also raj and dk we saw that uh, you know viral wedding and family man's completed you know gulshan is here i mean it's been good for all of you in some way i think that's what they say let's be a little grateful we've let's all be had positive let's be po- yeah. positive I'm happy. not not in the bad sense of the word positive but let's be positive in spirit right like, absolutely but yes. we see a lot more short stories because you know recently i've seen a lot lot of short stories vis-a-vis features Do you think this is also going to be a new trend we can look forward to? You know, I think forty minute be, stories. I mean, I think people are now ready to get back and get back on set, and a lot of the series that were stopped and the films that were stopped are all picking up. So I think this this period of the pandemic it was at least conducive to go and sh- shoot something quickly rather than yeah. obviously you cannot plan a shoot of a one month long say in September because you don't know what's going to happen. But you could plan a three day mm-hmm. shoot. so but yeah. now i think people are but, waiting but to get back but what it did to... was to start off another yeah. medium i think i feel that it yeah. this this uh, lockdown has sta- uh, start spawned off a new format i feel like true, the true, short true. format the anthology format the shorts i think they might have their own place going into the future true true kulchan it's i mean i find the anthology concept uh, i think that was your question also that like, is it yeah. going to be a popular format so uh, yeah sure it's interesting uh, it's been done before uh, and i think it will be done uh, in the future also whether or whether this will be a trend i don't know i'm not really sure about that but it's always interesting for uh, you know like three four five directors to come and uh, share their perspectives about something a similar concept that's always uh, quite uh, interesting because some of them might have very contrasting view points so within the same like two and a half hours of that the of the film you would probably get like you know three four different perspectives so sure. that's kind of interesting yeah. from a storytelling that's... point of view from a consumer's point of view like i would be really interested in watching something like that every now and then true what was the director's room like actually when All five of you were together. What is it like, actually, a director's room? Nothing. You were far away. You were inside. <laughs> you were speaking on a mic. Social distancing <laughs> with masks. Yeah. An honest, honest uh, answer. I, I think your question was uh, you meant about all the directors getting together, right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We, What is it like? We we never did. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, not even on Zoom no, once. No, no, no. Because uh, we were. See, uh, each of us were making. Yeah, Zoom we did a couple of times, and yeah. uh, we always I don't know we 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 operate in such a way that we don't we don't do a lot of workshops. We don't do a lot of readings. I don't know why. It's more like we talk. We just talk. Uh, I talk with Gulshan a few times, and and I say I'm a couple of times, and that's it. Usually we do talk, and we just see, look at each other, whatever, like a you know, meet or talk. Yeah, she's talking about and, the director's uh, room, Raj. I think what is I, I think, no, no, I've got it. Like, I've all got the it. other, all the other, direct, said, all the directors coming together is what she meant. All the five directors coming together. Oh, the Zoom. We yeah, yeah. we had no idea who they were. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I was asking like them for who else is yeah, like I was saying, Mandela, like, uh, we don't Aparna know. was the one. Aparna was the one curating, commonizing factor. Ask, 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 she, ask. she, she had this overall concept for everybody, and uh, each one scripts. You know, I guess she was reading and giving feedback as needed, I suppose. So all of us were making our own films separately, and uh, of course, I mean, there is a fair enough, fair amount of confidence, like at least for us, that all these other people are very, very capable and talented directors, and. I'm sure all the films are going to turn out good as long as we make ours good. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, before we go, what was that one pause that you've all taken? So it's a time that we've all paused. I I I hit the pause button every now and then. Uh, it was a lot longer uh, because I I didn't have any control. The universe was controlling this uh, this pause button. Uh, lots of positives. A great time to introspect and reflect. Uh, because of all the things that were going around, and it was a you know rather tragic year for the for the film industry as well. True, uh, true, true, true. Many losses, and that also gave me an opportunity to introspect and reflect on some of the choices that I had made and on some of my strategies. Uh, you know, it's a game of perception, and we should have to hustle. So, true. so all of these things, I got a lot of clarity on you know my how I understand this business. This whole game of perceptions and the concept of merit that doesn't exist and it cannot exist in the arts. Such things. Family. Me or not such a serious note. I you know I've just the the pause on going to a cinema for such a long time and going and watching a film on the big screen is something I've missed and I've really missed swimming. So it's been there's been a pause on like just swimming. So I want to unpause these small things which give me joy. True. directors uh i found i mean it's a, it's an awful time is a shitty time is what i call it but yeah. uh i tried to find some small joys in things and my i missed all the crap so i one little joy i found during pandemic was whenever there was a narrow windows that you could get out in the early mornings i i started cycling again in empty roads of mumbai which you'll never see again so i used to bike all the way to worli from you know andheri to even town and it was just it was just like once in a time lifetime experience you know you have nothing you just have true. just just true. two three people that's it so true true also awesome. and uh, um no i mean uh, see there are a few positives that i could take from the from this whole lockdown and pandemic for example i get to spend a little more time at home with my family that's a that's something we all take for granted and we are working all the time and we never do that at all but uh, i also feel that even during the beginning of the pandemic and throughout i've been feeling that see we are we are in a lucky profession bunch of us at least as writers you know we are uh, not so much maybe actors but luck luck because we get to still sit at home and write and develop and continue doing work whereas not everybody is as lucky so so one has to be conscious of the fact that we are you know we count our blessings that we are lucky enough to continue working during a pandemic but a lot of people's lives were turned upside down and you know people had to leave cities and go back and change their lives so that way i mean i guess this is a time to kind of introspect and count your blessings and uh, i mean I, i'm sure every one of us want this to be over as soon as possible as soon as possible yes yeah. anyways thank you very much and uh, great talking to you all all the very best looking forward to the glitch and just hope this virus glitch is removed from our lives soon thank you so much yeah thank, thank you bye bye have a good day bye thank you bye you too bye 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 bye